the big ego has never stopped on me. Constantly never stopped on me. He said I don't travel. I purposely booked a flight to Milan and I uh, showed him that I, I travel. And I, I, I visited places. I went ahead to get into places, to, which he doesn't do. He only he won't uh, film inside places if he has to pay for it. He basically just films outside. He'd done the Eiffel Tower one time and he, I think he was two or three hundred yards away from it. He didn't want to pay any uh, fees, you know, if you wanted to see inside or whatever, open or whatever. He didn't want to uh, get into that. Like he, he, he's a great man of not paying these things. Like, you know, you know, he pertains to be this and that. Or if you look at a big ego, his main holidays are in Asia. He never brings the family to Europe, to America. He's never brought his uh, his family to California. He's never brought them to, he's never educated his kids in Europe or America, um, where he pretends to be this and that. The, the fact of the matter is, the big man is a HVAC man. He basically, he's a dealer, he's a dealer in um, air cons. That's, that's the reality, yeah. So there's no point in glossing over it, like of what, trying to paint himself out to be this and that. This is the reality of the man, right? Now, I'm not saying he doesn't have money. He probably has. He's far more money than me. I admit that. I'm not going to say that he's that he's that he's uh, that I've uh, more money to him. Of course I don't. I'm not going to be uh, churlish to say these things. But this guy is a, is a, is a fraud. You know, he, he um, total fraud. He can't get a Caucasian woman. He never will get a Caucasian woman. You know, why does he never go back to California to see his uh, family? Why do, Why is he always pertaining, pertaining to be around Vietnam, you know, all these Asian countries, uh, Philippines? Why, does, why doesn't he bring his family to Europe, America? Why doesn't he get them educated there, you know? Very strange to me. You know, when you have the money, you, you, you should use that to give him the best opportunity, but he doesn't do it. Um, and he's not a good person. I've, I've come to realize he's a troublemaker, the big ego. I, I thought he was a good person at the start, but the big ego can turn on you and then he twists things to cause trouble. He, he loves, he strikes me as a real Hollywood man. He loves to see drama. He loves to see people fighting. He loves to see uh, trouble. He loves to see pe lives being destroyed. He loves to see he loves to see people being um, framed up and, and accused of being certain things which are not. Uh, he's not a good he's not a good character, you know. I'll say this as well. You know, if he was a good person, he'd use his money to do to do good things, and he doesn't use his money to do good things. He uses his money to trash people, to get people to go up in a pulpit every day, to hammer people, to destroy people's character. You know, I'll go back to Barry to, to Barry J, right? Barry J is in prison now. You know, I wish I had the money to be able to go over and help Barry J. I, I wouldn't have that type of money. But um, Fisher and himself were in Cebu, and then and if there were any decent people. They would have took out their checkbook and gave Barry J ten grand or whatever, got him a, a proper lawyer, and you wouldn't be in the in in this situation. But it never did. The big ego went into Barry J's uh, cell, to ask for a threesome with with, with a Bashaw. That's that's the highest respect he showed Barry J. He never gave him uh, money to uh, to get him free. He never done anything to him. He had the cheek to bring his camera. He loves to bring his camera everywhere, the big ego. And he brought the camera into the jail cells to destroy Barry J and make him to make a mockery of him. That's I what never he do. Heard you before. He mocks people. I can I can barely hear you at your 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 reception is terrible.